Here you go. Jump up. This is my dog training tip for today. How to teach your dog to be caught when they're loose. I was just at the park this morning and there was a loose Shiba Inu that the owner had been trying to catch for 15 minutes. But basically, the problem the owner was having is every time she'd reach down for the dog, the dog would scuttle out of the way because this is a very intimidating gesture. Capturing a loose little dog is very different than catching a big dog. A big dog, you're, a, a person is naturally going to grab their collar, but with a little dog, usually a person is going to grab them from the sides. And Kiko pretty much hates that technique, but by pairing it with reinforcement, by pairing being caught with reinforcement, you can actually get your dog to love being caught. So I'm going to show you how to do that. It's easier if you have a helper who can click for you, or you can use a marker word like yes. So I'm going to reach yes and give her a treat. Well, that was a big one. Oops, that was for splash. So I'm going to do that again. Reach yes and give her a treat. I'll show you with the clicker. So that you're conditioning your dog to love being grabbed with your hand. Now I'm going to do a two-handed one, so I can't use my clicker, but yes, good job. And at first, you're going to start out really slow. Your dog's probably not going to be wanting to be grabbed, so just a yes. Your hand's yes, coming for them. Yes. And Kiko's worked on it a lot. Another way of capturing a little dog who doesn't like to be grabbed is by teaching them to rest their chin in your hand when you present your hand. So, for Kiko, she doesn't like to be grabbed, so I've taught her that when I put my hand out like this, the best thing she can do is put her head in it, and then I can grab her collar and pick her up. Where if I were to just grab her at the park, she might scuttle out of the way. So, to teach the chin rest, where you put your hand out and the dog puts their chin in it, all you have to do is hold a treat out to your dog, and as you put your hand under their chin, you say yes and give them the treat. Do that again. Yes, give them the treat. The third time, you're not going to have a treat in your hand. You're going to have a pretend treat. So I'm going to put the pretend treat in my hand as the dog goes to look at it. Yes, show them there's no treat, but they still get one. The next step to that is holding the treat further up in your, on your arm. Yes. And then see if the dog will offer it themselves. Yes. And then the final one is hiding this hand. Yes. Now that one takes a couple, you know, that's going to take a couple of training sessions. But it's a really great trick. So when you need to capture your little dog, you just put your hand out, they come to it, you grab them and pick them up. Most dogs, when you grab their collar, they tend to panic because it's just not a normal thing to be captured by your neck. But you can teach your dog to love being captured by their neck. And then the way, the way you would do this, with a dog that's not too shy, you would just touch their collar, yep, and give them a treat. Touch their collar, yes, give them a treat. Grab the collar, yes, give them a treat. If it was a shy, oh good girl, keep on moving to me. If it was a shyer dog, you might just reach at them, yep, and give them the treat. Yes give them the treat. Yes, give them the treat. Getting them used to being reached for, because this is pretty scary if you're a dog. If you, you don't want to do this exercise with your dog on leash. You want them to be able to escape you if they get a little nervous, because it's kind of scary. You don't really, uh, humans even, don't like to be reached for. Stop immediately if your dog looks fearful, loses interest in the treat, or becomes aroused and mouthy. That is a sign that you're pushing them too quickly. Remember to have the dog off-leash and not cornered so they are choosing 100% on their own to participate. Or the dog could feel trapped and become defensive. So once your dog loves being grabbed, yep, by their collar, you can practice standing up and grabbing them. Yep. Yep. And maybe approaching them. Yep. Good job. Another behavior, if you've mastered that, is dogs don't like being led by their collar. That can actually make a dog bite you. If the dog is in a dangerous situation and they're loose, you need to move that dog. And if it's your dog, you want your dog to be really safe if someone's going to grab them by their collar. So to teach that, you grab their collar, stand up. It's easier if they're standing up and you put a little bit of pressure on their collar. Yep. Ooh, we're running out of treats. 
So I'm going to put a little bit of pressure. Yep. 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 This is just teaching a dog. When I pull on your, when I pull on your collar, it's not a bad thing. I just want you to move with me.